okay good afternoon friends welcome back uh, welcome back uh, shika madam also uh, we are ready for good the presentation afternoon. we will be going in the reverse order that is we will start with uh, zn mysuru and uh, you will be given for minimum uh, 10 or maximum 15 minutes therefore please try to give only maximum two activities the remaining activities you can share with the uh, teachers uh, in the whatsapp thank you we can start okay uh... yeah good afternoon one and all i am purushottam from kendri dalaya crp of elahank bengalu uh, uh, today the group from mysore z8 uh, we are here to present uh, how to use the resources uh, as in now, we are uh, just going for uh, online resources. So in the class, we can just go for physical resources available in the uh, school. So now we just would like to present uh, some of the online resources uh, that can be uh, used uh, in an effective manner in the teaching learning process in the classes. Uh, I just would present a Yeah. Uh, hope my presentation is visible. Yeah, this is a. Uh, is it visible? Number yes, card. Continue, continue. continue. Uh, thank you, thank you, Srinivasan sir. It's a, a number card. We have this uh, online uh, <coughs> uh, where you can use uh, uh, different uh, kind of number cards for uh, taking different concepts. Uh, it can be used <clears throat> now this is the uh, first bow uh, where we can show the cards uh, before that we can go for a setup in the setup we have here uh, we have options to choose uh, the number of cards uh, maybe it is 5 10 20 40 up to 40 cards we can uh, just generate uh, just i would like to take uh, 10 cards then what kind of series uh, you would like to have? One is the odd, even, triangles, square number, triangle with triangle numbers, square numbers, prime numbers, Roman numeral, uh, random numbers, 10 to 99, and 0 to 9, and dotted cards, 1 to 9 cards, and you can customize uh, your card, what kind of card you would like to uh, take. And we have option to choose the uh, color of the card. We can just choose uh, to make uh, the presentation a uh, beautiful one and you can show the card uh, you can hide the card value will be hide, hidden and whenever you want you can just display the card now uh, i am going with the settings uh, number i have chosen 10 cards so to begin with uh, class 6 i want to take uh, uh, odd odd numbers i'll take and uh, the questions uh, based on that will go on now the card if the value is hidden but I know oh, what is the first card. I know the card because I have chosen a uh, odd card right from one. So I just place it one, two, three, four, five cards. Now the question is, a uh, child can be asked to uh, guess what is the fifth card by looking at the first four cards. So you can enter, turn this card one. Now the child has to do this activity, three, then five, seven, then child may be asked to uh, guess what is the card here, what is the card left, uh, then on the answering, we can just check whether it's correct or not. So like this, uh, you can use in the concept of uh, uh, <coughs> odd, odd numbers, you can use this card and tell them, uh, or you can just go for a setting. Uh, like this you have even cards uh, triangle numbers you want to show uh, and you can clear all the cards on the desk now again it is uh, so this is the first triangle number this is second triangle number this is third triangle number fourth triangle number so with the knowing concept what is the triangle number triangle numbers or uh, let me see can anybody guess what is the first triangle number any answer? 
what what will be the first number three the numbers whose dot three. pattern can be arranged in the form of a triangle yeah okay can you tell me what is the first card what one one ट्रैंगलर I have chosen square cards. Sir, would you, would you please tell me the website from where this uh, game you are showing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I'll share with you. Right okay. now, these are the Let's square cards. Can anybody mm. guess what is the fifth card? Like that. Okay. Now I am not answering. I am questioning you people. So I can just evaluate. These are all square cards, starting from one. So I know what is this card. Can anybody guess what is this card will be? पीरे पानी जा चाय दे दे व्हाट व्हाट दिस कार्ड दिस कार्ड इज टू बी यहां प्लेस 35 35 इफ द स्क्वायर कार्ड इफ द स्क्वायर कार्ड सो लाइक दिस यू कैन यू कैन यूज फॉर प्राइम नंबर्स यू कैन यूज फॉर रोमन एंड रोमन एंड नो फॉर क्लास 10 आल्सो आई कैन मेक यूज ऑफ इट आई कैन जनरेट अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन एंड दिस इज अवेयर इन क्लास 10 वी कैन जस्ट मेक सम एक्टिविटी लाइक Uh, first value is forty-five. Then I can give the increment uh, minus seven, seventy or minus seven. I I would like to go with the negative minus seven. Starting with forty-five. What? Starting with forty-five. Can you remember? My first number is forty-five and minus seven. So okay, clear out the card. So two, three, four. Then, so you can ask the child to calculate. Now I am giving first term A is forty-five, B is minus seven. So what will be this card? What will be this card? Three. Pardon? Three. You're wrong. It is forty-five, thirty-eight, thirty-one, twenty-four, seventy, ten. Next card is three. So, uh, the, so in this way, uh, you can just evaluate. Uh, the, take the concept of uh, arithmetic progression and some of the arithmetic progression uh, we can uh, use, and ask the child to. You can keep the uh, one card missing and ask what is the missing card. Uh, or else, I uh, just clear the card. I can change the setup. Okay. Uh, yeah i i can i change the setup uh, the, my first card is 100 my first card is 100 and i uh, i'll give increment of 8 increment 8 the so first card is 8 100 second card third card this is where we can use even for uh, arithmetic mean arithmetic mean this is 100 This is 116. Now, uh, please guess what is the middle card. 108. 108. 108. That is the arithmetic mean of these two numbers. 108. Similarly, next three cards, if you can guess. Right. Now, you show this, and what are the uh, predecessor and successor? Uh, I mean, uh, the card before this. And card, not predecessor, of course. A card before this and card after this. So this would be one twenty-four. One twenty-four, and this is one thirty-six, uh, like this. One forty. Let's say one forty, because uh, this is what we are okay. using. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, sir, madam. Uh, Shikha, madam, any question on this, so that they can go to the next activity. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I'll just. Uh, Thank, you, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Shikha, madam. Uh, You want him to explain anything more than this? Oh uh, no, actually this is good. I think just the question framing would need the AP connection is also very good. Uh, that how do we use numbers so that we can generate arithmetic <coughs> progression? I think a little bit more thing about how to design the questions within AP would need to be thought through a bit more. 
but overall it's a good thing and extending numbers in different ways using number cards is a nice idea uh, can we have the second activity here mysuru thank you yes sir yes sir good afternoon everyone myself prajisha from kvap solo uh, i am doing here paper cutting only uh, what what i intend to do is actually uh, this is a square everybody know okay because all the four sides are equal so we can identify it as a child can identify it as a square now if i want to cut out the square or uh, out of this paper i can have start from the beginning itself means i will go for one cut two cut three cut and four cut if further i wanted to reduce the number of cut means i have to fold this paper and fold it in such a way that uh, in this vertical such that the two end is, uh, edges meet here okay if i fold it like this i can reduce the number of cuts here so now it will be about having only one two and three cuts so in this way i have to uh, means the child has to identify that uh, again if i want to reduce the number of cuts from three i want to make it as two so now what should i do i have to again fold it okay so i'm folding it along now horizontally like this and again meeting this two uh, points here and if i fold it like this now it is having only two cut now again if i wanted to reduce the number of cuts the main thing is i want to show that the cutting of a particular uh, figure in a single cut that is the um, activity mainly here but i just wanted to go from the quad um, in a square then uh, number of cuts we are reducing here so now if i wanted to cut it in a single stretch what what should we do it must be folded Di along diagonally yeah this diagonal if i fold no. it along this diagonal sorry this way this way if i fold it if this way i fold it right. i get this one then i can cut it along this one this will be if i cut it like this it will come out in a single stretch so this point we are having a single cut here this can be uh, the, here actually i folded along the midpoints lines join line segment joining the midpoints of this sides isn't it this is a one of the type the other way also we can do we can also have one more way that is the using the diagonals of the square so here we can uh, discuss about the diagonals properties also so if we go for it we fold it along the diagonals one of the first fold and the second diagonal is this part so we have to fold along this way also so again we are getting it in a single cut here so in a single cut we are having a square outside of a uh, paper now slowly actually moving towards the next one is a rectangle so now child has to think about here actually what happens the diagonals are of equal length so we can easily have in this particular form as a kanipa when we do like this we will be having that single cut easily rather than the first one first one means we have to make points here uh, using these all properties and then going for the diagonal so uh, uh, much better is which one using the diagonals one if we go for a rectangle is it possible in a single in a is it easy than the square in square directly we can use the diagonal and we can have the fold and simple cut we can easily find it out but in when we uh, when we come to the rectangle again we have to go for some more foldings so here the child must understand where we have to the concept of uh, symmetry where the symmetry is coming so here if i go for first one i can fold it along this particular point meeting it here then again second one fold will be having and third one again i have to fold it in such a way that it comes over the other this way and then have a single cut okay then if i cut it out i will be getting it as a, a rectangle outside but it is a little bit difficult than the square in the square the diagonals property is more easy so we are having in a single cut easily we are uh, getting it so from this one now we are, next one we will be moving towards the triangle when we comes towards the triangle uh, when we go in the class here i am not going in the detail way when we come to the class we will ask the child to go with the first one equilateral triangle so we do in the three triangles equilateral triangle isosceles triangle and then the scalene triangle because in equilateral triangle then the child will understand equilateral triangle it is easy to fold it and find out that symmetry and cut out in a single stretch because uh, all, all the medians all the altitudes all the angle bisector angle bisectors are all the same line itself in the case of a uh, equilateral triangle then if you come for the um, isosceles triangle there also actually we are having the two sides so symmetry is easily available so in that case also they can easily fold it the one side over the other side on the way of the getting a um, angle bisector 
So when you fold it along that way, that also the child will be easily able to understand and find it out. And the tricky one is when the triangle is a scalene triangle. Then they can easily identify which is the correct way. Is the angle bisector coming or the uh, medium, whichever is coming, uh, which which is the proper way of folding so that we can cut it in a single stretch. And when they fold it along, the they will try with the medium. First, let them start with the medium. We can show them how to find out the medium by paper folding. So if we have the sides folded here, just for convenience. So the uh, we can first get it out, get here the angle bisector. So angle bisector, we have to get it means, bisector means which divides these two angles in the equal part. So we fold it in such a way that these two lines intersect here. So we are getting the first angle bisector. Same way we have to go for the second angle. So here if we fold it, we get the second angle bisector here. And the last one coming to be the third one here. We uh, we can also show that the intersection of the angle bisectors, which is also called as in-center. So the concept of in-center also we can introduce through this particular uh, folding. So when, when we get this all these bisectors, If we fold it like this along the bisectors, along the bisectors, we fold it, we'll get it in a single line here. This way, if you cut it out, the triangle will be taken outside. So this is the one of the proper activity um, which I have taken for. Okay, As a, thank, you, uh, thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Uh, will you please uh, mention which uh, topic you are, you are just using it? Sir, in triangles, uh, we can uh, with, uh, we can uh, introduce the types of triangles in the case of scalene triangle, isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, and then mainly we are going for the median and the angle bisector. The intersection of the medians and the intersection of the angle bisectors is called as the in center, and in the case of median, we call it as the centroid. That way. Okay, so because when you started with the cutting, I thought that you are going to use it for ratios. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, Shika, madam, uh, any comment? Yeah. Oh, thank you, ma'am. This is interesting. Uh, the only thing is quite a similar question to Srinivas, sir, that uh, uh, either we expect students to know the angle bisector in this case to be able to find the cut or we are going to talk about it with them. And I think that needs to be clarified. So, uh, that is why I asked her. I asked the question uh, to her. First, you fix the topic in which you are going to use it. Uh, then go for it. Because yes. when she explained, I think it was actually variety of topics actually came in my mind. Yes, that's, that's what even I thought, yes. First, that should be fixed in the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, what topic you are going to teach, then only you can ask the children to think in that direction. Right. Okay, that's one way of motivating them. Sir, for cemetery yes, also, you can be used to ah, yes, yes. For cemetery also, you can use it. When yes, she started, yes, start started cutting it, I thought that she is going to use uh, fraction, ratios, percentage. <laughs> actually, my thinking went in some other direction. Even in the class also, a child will start thinking like that. No, I am also a child. Okay, well, uh, I think, madam, can we move to the next uh, group or you want to tell something? Sure, sure, sure. let's move. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you, Ziad Mysuru. Now we are moving to Ziad Mumbai. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Chika, madam, and Sindhya, sir, and all teachers. Myself, Mrs. Manisha, KV Ambarnath, Mumbai. I will just uh, introduce the topic which I have chosen. Using GeoGebra, I tried. Uh, resource is used as GeoGebra software. It is my favorite software also. And many topics can be covered. Uh, properties of uh, trying. Okay, one minute. I did not share. No? Can you share your screen, madam? Yes, 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 sir. Okay, sir. Okay, now okay. You can continue. Uh, yeah. So the topics can be covered: uh, properties of triangle, polygons, regular polygons, and their properties, uh, coordinate geometry. So many topics are there. You can cover with this resource. And uh, I have taken only the properties of triangle related to angles. So the uh, questions we will ask to the children: first, what is polygon? Then uh, name the polygon with the least number of sides, parts of uh, triangles, elements of the triangles. So they will say that uh, six parts are there and then we'll focus on the angles. So what can be the sum of the angles of all triangles? So in this case, 
so this uh, this is ready now they can verify some of the angles of triangle is one uh -huh. like this yeah, ma so manisha madam yes sir. you do the right click on any of the uh, at the bottom you do the right click go to the then bottom bottom where bottom of the geogebra uh, somewhere you just to do a right click yeah. again do it once again don't select anything please come out escape please come out of everything and then oh navigation again do it ah uh, yes yes i am just talking about the navigation bar yeah yeah because when you go a step by step now the child will like it yeah yeah that's why i asked you sir i did not find it no no uh, actually sometime na you have to click click sometime left click two or three times in open space then do the right click okay so this is one property <coughs> some of the angles of triangle is 180 degree and uh, second property is uh, exterior angle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles this also uh, we can ask a child to verify the angles are changing and the sum remains same interior angles are changed sum of the interior angle is equal to exterior angle so three files are made sir and uh, one property is this sum of exterior angles of a triangle is 360 degree uh, with respect to that vertex only <coughs> vertex a b c and uh, in more detail bindu madam is also uh, presenting the next geogebra use sir and this okay. worksheet also made for that so over to bindu madam madam ah uh, yes yes ma'am good evening i am bindu shivrajan from uh, raipur region i am in, working in kendri vidyalaya do so uh, i have also a geogebra file uh, i'll just uh, present it now <coughs> is my screen visible now both the both the thing yes is it visible yeah yes sir so uh, the, the topic is uh, designing a worksheet using a resource so the resource we have used is here geogebra as we were asked uh, what are the other things uh, what are the things geogebra can be used for it can be used to teach geometry algebra statistics calculus uh, calculus uh, application and many other things okay and then now uh, coming to geogebra as we begin this topic uh, we will first construct a quadrilateral using geogebra i have measured all the sides here all sides are given and then the diagonals also have been drawn and the point of intersection of diagonal is mentioned all the uh, length of the segments of the diagonal is also mentioned over here all these properties will be needed when we talk about each and every type of quadrilateral and then the angles formed by these uh, diagonals the, at the point of intersection is also measured now slowly we will move on to the along with the questions we can uh, move on to the uh, particular topic so we will begin with what is a polygon so children will uh, answer uh, if they answer most of them know because from class 6 they are studying it is a closed figure made up of straight line now coming on to concave and convex polygon especially here this is a quadrilateral here and in this quadrilateral we can very well show we can ask children what kind of quadrilateral it is so they may they will say it is a convex quadrilateral or we can say it is a convex quadrilateral now the next question i can ask is can we make it a concave polygon or a quadrilateral yes we can do it just by moving this here and if i say this is a concave quadrilateral i can ask children what is the difference that they are finding in a convex and a concave quadrilateral here you can see that this particular diagonal ac is lying outside the quadrilateral that that is very well clear here so it becomes a concave quadrilateral these questions can be answered to them what is the difference you are finding so a concave and a convex quadrilateral can be explained and then coming on to the sum of angles of a triangle because angles are over here so they can add and see and they can say what is the sum of angles of a triangle and after that we can slowly move from the quadrilateral to one of its uh, family members that's a parallelogram we'll ask children what is the property of a parallelogram and i'll try to make it a parallelogram by making the opposite sides equal in fact now this has become a i'll just yeah uh, this is a parallelogram and then i have to adjust the angles also accordingly <clears throat> now after uh, making a uh, parallelogram like this 
we can ask children uh, various questions like uh, what can you tell about the sides of these parallelograms and very well see that the sides are equal and then uh, what can you tell about uh, opposite sides are equal in fact opposite angles are equal and um, another very important thing is about the diagonals the property one very important property of diagonals of parallelogram can be seen here that it bisect each other another thing is the diagonals are not equal the two diagonals are not equal in this case now we can similarly move uh, into asking the children by making it slowly also all the properties of parallelogram basic properties that like opposite sides are equal opposite angles are equal diagonals bisect each other and the diagonals are not equal because it is a sleeping rectangle it is sleeping it is not straight so now if i make it straight mar mar ke isko bolenge seedhe ho jao so if i can make it like that and make the angles in fact uh, it is um, 90 degrees slowly um, it's taking a bit of time you can adjust it <coughs> after making it a rectangle again we can ask children about the various properties that are quite uh, visible here what are what can you tell about the angles that all the angles are equal all are 90 degrees then opposite sides are equal that is very well clear here and another very important property the diagonals are bisecting each other but in a rectangle we have got one more property that the diagonals are equal that is also seen here so all these questions can be put forward to them in the similar way madam we can make this a rhombus a square and we can ask children the similar questions we can do it um here after that you can come into uh, same we can make it a little more higher level asking questions like why is a rhombus a parallelogram a rectangle a parallelogram is again uh, why is square called a special baby of the parallelogram family and all these questions can be uh brought in here and when it comes to class 9 we can also show that the diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangle we can use the property of sas theorem here and show that also we can relate class 9 topic also here so that's all um so in this way we can design the worksheet oh thank you madam yes sir sir one more Any suggestion chika or suggestion first okay uh yes over to shikha madam please voice nahi aa rahe voice yes shikha madam please sir one more activity can be shown Is, um, no madam actually we have no time uh, we are waiting for shikha madam second sir one more thing i prepared jitendra uh, has prepared you can hear me now hi yes I madam yes, yes, please please oh. continue ma'am please okay uh, thank you ma'am this is an i mean geogebra has various applications but just two small points one is that what we learned from the video was not to use the shapes in the same orientation every time so changing the orientation of the parallelogram when we are talking about these properties and if i was in your place ma'am i would have started with the question where you ended i would have started with let's explore the relation between rhombus and parallelogram because every textbook gives that kind of a trajectory but if we started from that question then all the questions that you said would fit very well into the worksheet okay so just these two suggestions thank you sir one more please jitendra yeah, sir good evening uh, with other i'll i'll take only 2 minutes sir yes sir please uh, good evening my request is uh, just please pin up uh, where my name is there so that you will get the uh, exact screen full screen on your laptop you continue continue okay uh, sir my to objective is is a class 7 topic like fraction decimal and percent are same so for that i am assuming that class 7 students know about fraction and decimal and for that i have a worksheet 
to check their uh, fraction knowledge i'm presenting just a minute so for fraction i'll give this worksheet in case of questions i will ask students to write the letter which number represents this letter in front of this number in place of writing numbers i will ask alphabet and uh, second is for decimal i have another worksheet i ask them to put decimal numbers in place of uh, these pink boxes now what is the use of uh, this sheet here like fraction the zero and last number is 1 divided into 10 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 again this is 1 10 2 10 3 10 4 10 5 10 i want to represent half i'm taking example for half in all the cases fraction decimal and percent how they are equal how they become same this is 6 by 10 7 by 10 8 10 9 10 10 10 is one so half means exactly half somewhere 5 by 10 is so here is half 1 by 2 so for decimal we know 1 by 10 in place value is a 1 tens so i'll write here 0.1 then 0.2 we can see here also 10 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 0.3 0.4 0.5 0.6 0.7 0. 0.8 9 10 so this here also i'm getting 1 by 2 and in percent the whole is means 100 percent so here one means this is 100 percent And 50 percent rough idea will be somewhere middle. So we make 10 equal parts of 100 percent means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. So this will be 10 percent, 20 percent, 30 percent, 40 percent, 50 percent, 60, 70, 80, and 100. 40, 50. 50. This will be 50 percent. So 50 percent also is. So we can say the fraction one by two, decimal zero point five and fifty percent. They all are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But they will be starting percentage for the introductory percentage chapter, first in class seven. We can represent like this way that we have studied fraction, decimal, and percentage also. same only the all three are part of whole that's it madam please thank you jitendra sir right yes ma'am thank you sir i think this uh, movement between different representations is a good idea uh, just two uh, suggestions one is sir uh, they encounter students learn number lines from the very beginning So in the middle school, there have been a lot of people who suggested to use what are called as empty number lines. So you could look at that, okay. so that okay. we don't. So in initially, in terms of support, we can give these equal partitions. But mm -hmm. later on, I think we should start giving empty number lines so that they see that number line can be divided into equal number of parts, which are not necessarily powers of ten. And okay. the other okay. is the concept of that, double that number line. That is given line. in a activity sheet, madam. Okay. the decimal and fraction that is there right and the other is the concept of double number lines so that mm -hmm. i think you are using here already yes, so i yes, think yes. showing other numbers apart from uh, the 50% would be helpful like actually taking mm -hmm. 25% and then okay, trying okay, to go okay, back okay. from there and also mm -hmm. sir instead of always moving from fractions decimals to percentage moving between mm -hmm. them might also be helpful okay i think you might have had that in mind but just to add here Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, thank, thank you. you thank sir. You. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Zed uh, Mumbai. We are moving to Zed Gwalior. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Continue, please. Good evening. Uh, I am Prema Rawat from Zed Gwalior. So, in my first activity, I have taken a triangle 
and this triangle is further divided into some more triangles which are not equal in areas their areas are different and when we cut these triangles into different parts after that we can make a shape so in this shape i have taken this uh, one this first part as a uh, its area is one square unit so uh, if we compare this with the part number 2 and 3 we can say that the area of the shape like shape 1 is equal to one square unit then the shape 2 and 3 are half of the uh, half square unit that is uh, they are half the area of the shape 1 and in the same way shape 4 and 5 4 and 5 are joined together and this is equal to two times the area of this first part so 2 plus 2 is 4 so we can say that the shape 4 and 5 together is equal to four square unit and the shape 6 it is two times the shape 1 so uh, the area of the shape 6 is two square units now another figure is there so for this i have taken a square a square piece and it is divided into some more shapes and when it is cut it becomes like this so here we have we can give the concept of uh, say isosceles trapezium to students regular polygon concave figures and some uh, isosceles triangles that is con concurrent and similar triangles we can give like these two triangles if we compare they are similar to each other if we compare these two they are uh, concurrent they are equal in shape and size they are uh, equal in shapes and uh, with the help of this we can uh, explain them the regular polygon this is concave polygon so different type of polygon they can learn from here and not only this but also we can uh, uh, compare like this uh, i have made one uh, say worksheet so in this we can frame some questions like in how many part this complete square if we take this uh, first part first part as the uh, for measuring uh, other parts then uh, if we divide this complete square in this type of part that is uh, all the parts having this area so how many parts this square can be divided if each has a area equal to part 1 so this may be one first question then like for example take a third part this is the third part so third part is dash times of the seventh part so if we compare this third part with the seventh part we can say this third part is 2/3 of the seventh part so this type of question we can um, we can frame uh, so that uh, students can find out the ratio ratio of the part first uh, with the part second or the third with seventh etc now which part is an example of a regular polygon this type of question simple question also we can frame then concept of uh, uh, sorry a uh, concept of regular polygon concave polygon so on the, that that question can also be framed and every time we change the shape of a uh, shape of uh, say uh, the pieces which uh, we have taken so whenever we change the shape every time the perimeter will change but not the area so this also we can explain with the help of these activities and uh, what type of angles are there in part 7 so if we have to explain the angle we can see here two right angles then acute angle and a reflex angle so uh, one more question we can uh, frame like how many equal pair of angles are there so equal pair of angles are this one and this and this 90 degree and this there are two pair of angles which are equal to each other so these are few examples of the question which we can frame with the help of uh, for the, this type of uh, 10 gram using this 10 gram now i have one more activity uh, that is this is specially for class 10 so in this activity what we uh, i am going to uh, say prove uh, to the children that uh, i have taken two triangles which are similar to each other two triangles which are similar to each other so uh, area or ratio of area of the two similar triangle is equal to square of ratio of their corresponding sides so this thing we have to prove with the help of this activity and in this activity the length of this side is 5 and length of this side is 5 unit and it is 3 units so divide madam, this side into madam yes, ne cbse ne usko delete kar diya ratio of area of similar triangle aaj course mein nahi is baar yes, uh, this time this uh, means uh, this year it is not in the syllabus but otherwise yes, it madam. is in syllabus yes madam yes, yes for madam. for this year only it is deleted 
yes yes uh, yes madam yes continue okay. continue please so, madam please uh, continue continue yes, yes. so we divide this side into five equal parts and this side another similar triangle into three equal parts and here also we uh, divide this side into five equal parts and this side into three equal parts when we join this point with this point so using the converse of bpt theorem basic proportionality theorem so using converse of bpt theorem we can say that the these lines are parallel to the side bc and again in this triangle also these lines are parallel to the side ef now what we have to prove that the ratio of area of this to area of this is equal to square of ratio of their corresponding side so if we divide this by uh, drawing the parallel lines uh, i have drawn like this see so here red lines all the red lines are parallel to this side all the black lines are parallel to this side and when we join these points then all the blue lines are parallel to the third side so like this if we divide the complete figure into small triangle having equal area all these triangles are congruent so in both the figures if we do like this then after that if we count the number of triangles it is 25 this whole figure is divided into 25 triangle and this whole figure is divided into 9 triangle and if you find the ratio of 25 by 9 so 25 by 9 can be written as 5 by 3 whole square so now it is proved that and these 25 triangles together are making the area this is equal to the area of this complete figure and this 9 means area of this complete figure so hence it is proved that the ratio of uh, ratio of area of two similar triangle is equal to ratio of square of their corresponding sides so this activity is for that purpose so these are the two activities thank you uh, thank you madam ashika madam any comment uh, i think the uh, proving the basic proportionality theorem and its converse through area is a very good idea and uh, that's one of the proofs that needs to be acknowledged uh, prema ma'am uh, prema ma'am sorry uh, and i think prema ma'am just one connection between your initial activity and this activity i like both the activity just one yes, connection when we are talking about okay. the area in the first activity that you had shown there yes, also the connection between area and side the measure of each side should be made so when you are yes. asking that the area of shape 4 is twice the area of whichever shape that you were taking to be the unit then i think you have to mention that okay if area is double what happens to the side if i think those kind of questions also you have in mensuration right where the area yes, gets doubled and what happens to the side so yes like that, this uh... yes. uh in this is for first shape that area of uh, shape 2 is half of 1 and right. area of shape 6 is twice uh, it is twice of 1 yes. so half of 1 means uh, 1 by 2 into 1 and twice of 1 means 2 into 1 and when we solve this it will become 1/4 so we can say area of second shape is 1/4 of area of the sixth shape or sixth shape is four times the area of the second shape so yes. this uh, uh, similarity property here also we can use absolutely like yeah. and all so i'm saying is that also connect yes. this to the measure of the sides so okay, connect area with the measure of the sides also that's one okay. connection that is missing between these two activities otherwise i think broadly they were very good thank you thank you okay thank you prema madam uh, thank you all the participants of zed gwalior uh, we are move to zed chandigarh please so ready? one more activity one more no. activity by the uh, madam actually uh, time is not there uh, sorry here sir so one more shall we go to shall we go to zed chandigarh please yes sir we are ready zed chandigarh you can continue please sir, only only 2 yes, minutes for two minutes for other activity from zed gwalior sir please 30 okay. seconds sir only 30 seconds okay do it do it do it quickly yes sir hey. sir i would like to continue continue, continue please sir I, i would like to introduce this figure this is my triangle for the 7th 6th 7th class okay and in class 7th we introduce congruency of triangle okay sir and in class 8th we uh, introduce the quadrilateral form of quadrilateral uh, four sided figure sir uh, if you direct uh, introduce the uh, triangle then by this activity we can find out by the measurement Through the ruler, what is the area of this triangle? 
right sir and if we have same triangle just behind it then we obtain this figure okay sir okay. then we introduce this figure as a kite also but in this figure in this device we can uh, introduce the area of triangle and the congruency of triangle all three and four congruency where they are in class 7 we cannot prove it we proved in class 9 so when we say these two triangles are congruent because they are all three corresponding sides are equal right sir when we take in this manner then we say this triangle is right angle and these corresponding sides and this have these hypotenuse are equal so that these two triangles are congruent by rhs right sir so we can prove through this uh, activity all four congruency of triangle and sir if we find out the area of these two triangle by the measurement then the area will be same so we can say if two triangles are congruent then they have equal area thank you sir thank you very much so many and more activity we can do the through uh, this thank model. you sir okay thank you very much sir we move on to chandigarh region please yes sir yes sir continue please uh, yes sir just a moment sir thank you sir dinesh you are presenting yes sir i am presenting uh... oh, rajasri rajasri gandhi no no issue no issue why see you do it i am rajasri from dehradun region okay continue please is my screen visible yes yes uh, madam okay uh, the resource that i have no, selected is a cuboidal it's not visible it's not visible yes it is visible. Is not visible yes madam it is visible now once again you present it visible madam visible she is, is it visible now uh, visible two cuboids two cuboidal block she is showing okay yes visible madam The resource that uh, I have chosen is a cuboidal uh, block, which has different colors on different faces, and uh, showing this uh, using this cuboidal uh, block, the various uh, topics that can be addressed are two-dimensional shapes, closed figure, quadrilateral, rectangle, polygon. Then we can uh, uh, tell about concept of points and lines through this. about lines the intersecting lines parallel lines perpendicular lines concurrent lines area and perimeter of rectangle concept of 3d figures uh, it can include three dimensions the dimensions of the solid figure different views vertices edges faces then concept of surface area uh, which has got lateral surface area and the total surface area we can uh, use it to uh, explain volume and capacity and lastly i mean the last on my list visualizing solid shapes we can include net of 3d shapes prism polyhedron now uh, i have chosen the topic surface area out of these the key ideas are the number of faces or surfaces their shapes dimensions surface area as boundary of a solid area of different faces of cuboid lateral and total surface area now the worksheet uh, which i have prepared it has got questions on this but, uh, the questions i mean i move from uh, like in a serial order basic ones then at a higher level how many faces does the solid figure have next question what is the shape of these faces then are are all the faces identical in shape and size if not then are there any group of faces that have same shape and size name them how can you define the surface of a solid figure if in this position whatever position is shown to the students the horizontal span of front face is length and the other dimension of the base is breadth then what is the area of the base what will be the combined area of the base and the top face the surface area the surface that forms the walls of solid is called lateral surface now how many faces constitute the lateral surface of the cuboid 
Next question. What is the area of the front face if the horizontal dimension is length and the vertical dimension is height? What is the combined area of front and back faces? Next question. What will be the area of each of the side faces? Since the dimensions have been specified. Uh, next question. So what is the area of the lateral surface of the cuboid? Next, how will you relate the total surface area of cuboid with its lateral surface area? And the last question here, obtain an expression for the total surface area of the cuboid. Uh, that's it. Thank you, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Uh, thank you. I like that you reached at a point where they were asked to uh, think about the relation between total surface area and lateral surface area. I think that is a very nice objective. And then providing scaffolds in between is a good idea. I think some more support might be needed to imagine what a face looks like and then how to measure all sides of it, etc., which can support them. Because you said that measurements will be given. I think that that support might be needed as to how to observe those measurements or use them to find the area. The rest okay. of it, I think the structuring of questions is very well done, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, well, uh, using this three dimension, you try for any other uh, software which will give you the dimensions and all. I think with the uh, GeoGebra, you can make use of, I mean, rolling right. that Cuban cuboid and then show it. Or yes, sir. right now I only made use of variables. Okay. Uh, I can, I can answer the question very clearly by viewing it. Okay, uh, shall I go to the next person? Uh, somebody was waiting. Yes, sir. Rajasri, madam, please stop your presentation. Okay. Wait. Uh, good evening to all. I think we are running short of time. So I will just be giving the overview of the activity which we have taken. Mm. And Dinesh from... Uh, this Chandigarh group. So the topic taken by me is uh, how we can demonstrate the line of symmetry to the students of class six through activities. So I will share a screen, which will be. Is the screen visible to all of you, sir? Please continue. Visible. Okay. Just an overview. I will be giving. I don't think I will be having much time to give the detail. Through this, I have just taken this triangle as a resource. Simple piece of triangle will be taken. And from that, these concepts can be ex explained. Topics can be explained, symmetry, congruence, and area, area and perimeter of triangle. So few things I have written over here, symmetry, line of symmetry in a rectangle. Then diagonals of rectangle is the line of symmetry. This is the misconception which generally the students have. The concept of congress can also be developed through this uh, activity and concept of area can also be developed so sir, sir should i give the demonstration also should i give only the uh, presentation uh, please uh, you present it sir please explain it and then only present okay sir so by taking a uh, rectangular piece of paper we can just so i think this will is, the, is this visible to all of you uh, you stop your presentation and show, please. Okay, sir. Then only you will come full screen. Okay, sir. Okay. You stop your presentation. Ah, now you can show. Now we can take this rectangular piece of paper and after this, taking the center of or midpoint of this one of the side and then midpoint of this side. Then we can fold it. See, I am not explaining the meaning of symmetry and all that because I want to know it. So, by folding it, we will be getting two identical halves. So, these two halves are symmetrical one. So, this is one, and this will be known as vertical line of symmetry. Similarly, if we take this side of this side of the rectangle and then take midpoint of this and then midpoint of this and fold it, we will be getting two halves. And those two halves will be identical to each other and they will be symmetrical. So, this is the way we can explain the symmetry concept of symmetry to, to the time uh, uh, to the students that how many lines of symmetry are rectangle can have. Now, 
this diagonal concept is very very important for the students to understand because when we take or fold this rectangle diagonally although we will be getting two halves but these two halves will not be identical they will not be the same so this diagonal line cannot be the line of symmetry of the rectangle so this can be explained through these activities by taking a simple i have just taken a simple activity just a piece of rectangular piece of paper and then by folding it we can explain the concept of line of symmetry to the students but this thing where the students generally have is this misconception that rectangle may have this diagonal symmetry also but this diagonal is not the line of symmetry for rectangle because the two halves that we get they are not identical they are not the same so this is how we, this concept can be developed and student can be explained about the uh, uh, concept of symmetry now i once again presenting the screen is the screen visible sir Yes, yes, continue Dinesh, continue. So, here I have tried to represent through this uh, PPT also that how this line of symmetry of uh, this uh, rectangle can be drawn and then the concept of diagonal and why this diagonal is not the uh, line of symmetry. Then we can move on. There's as Madam has said that horizontal connection and vertical connection can also be developed. Many more concepts can be developed through this. We can move on to the area concept. Area of uh, rectangle can also be explained from here on we can move further then by doing the generalization we can also introduce the concept of area of triangle by general generalizing it we will be introducing the concept of algebra also that area of a triangle area of a rectangle is equal to l into b where l and b are the variable so these are some of the questions which can be framed say should i read all the question or is it okay no, sir, everybody is seeing no no need okay these questions can be framed only one thing last question i will would like to focus upon if we join the midpoint of side of a rectangle the name of this shape so often this can also be de demonstrated to the students it can also be demonstrated and by demonstration the students may be able to know that the shape which is obtained by holding the like this so this shape will be obtained and this shape is This will be a rhombus. Rhombus, yes. Then line of symmetry of rhombus can also be asked. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you, madam. Any comment, please? Otherwise, we will move to the next region. Thank you, Dinesh, sir. Uh, I think it is a nice uh, idea to be able to use one thing and do the others. It might be helpful, sir, with the children or students that you are dealing with are in the middle school. So taking two shapes at a time and per comparing them. You know, might be oh. helpful. I okay, also like the, the idea in the, the end time. that you said about joining the midpoints. So yes. that can be pursued further also to give a set of questions. Yes, ma'am. Actually, because of time constraint, it cannot be continued. No, so that's okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. Uh, we will move on to Ziad Boneshwar. Please be ready. Ziad yes, Boneshwar. Ready, sir. Mr. Ragul. Yes, sir. Continue, continue, Rahul. So, good evening, one and all present over here. Uh, I'm presenting my JIT Bhuvneshwar. So, we are design. We have designed a worksheet using resource and our resources GeoWorld. So first of all, we will know what is GeoWord. What is a GeoWord? So GeoWord is a mathematical manipulative used to explore basic concepts in plane geometry such as perimeter and area and other characteristics of triangle and other polygons. So how does a GeoWord look like? So a GeoWord is a GeoWord looks like this the uh, the way you are watching at the screen. We can prepare GeoWord. Uh, at our at our place anytime just we have to focus that these dots should be equidistant from each other and uh, if we are not able to prepare this work uh, geoword then we can take print out from 
any of the uh, website so how do we use worksheet uh, how do we use this geoboard and where we can use it so geoboard can be used to find the area of any polygon we can compare the angles pattern classification scaling congruence perimeter even for coordinate geometry we can use geoboard so today we are using geoboard to find the area of the geometric figures so here we have a link for this to go uh, it will redirect us to digital geoboard so this is a geoboard if we want smaller geoboard then we can shift for smaller otherwise we can go for this one we can we can draw patterns over here which will show us a square unit or we can uh, also we can uh, divide it into uh, like this um, with the help of numbers so i have drawn already three figures over here this is a square this is a rectangle and this is a triangle we have to find the area of all these figures so what we will do first we will we will watch at this square unit this is a one square unit so area of this square is one square unit so we can see this square is consist of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 9 squares so area of this square is so area of this square is 9 square unit 9 square unit likewise for rectangle for rectangle we will see it is uh, and Uh, we can also uh, verify this by we can verify this by uh, our conventional formula that is that is area of square is side into side so side is 1 2 3 unit and 3 into 3 is 9 unit so we can verify it by conventional formula next we we are going forward to our our next figure that is rectangle so area of rectangle we will go verify by our conventional formula that is length into breadth first we will count the square inside this rectangle so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 so area of this rectangle is 10 square unit and further we can uh, we can uh, verify it by our conventional formula that is length into breadth so length you can take uh, uh, length can be 5 or 2 if we are taking this as a length so 2 unit into 5 2 in unit into 5 is 10 10 square unit so area of this rectangle is 10 square unit. these two are very easy but triangle is little bit tricky because it does not include all complete squares so what we will do so here we have a trick that we will count complete square and we will count incomplete square so first we will count our complete square so here i am denoting complete square by yellow 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so here we have 10 complete square and i will take next incomplete square i will show incomplete square by red ink so here one incomplete second third fourth fifth oh, sorry this is also incomplete this is not complete actually this is not complete so we will not take this one this is in incomplete i will show this by reading so it mean incomplete are how many nine incomplete are nine so we will so here we have nine complete nine complete uh, squares and for in uh, incomplete one we are taking it as a red 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and the other one is here this one 
incomplete so incomplete are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we will multiply incomplete by half okay we will multiply incomplete by half and we will get 5 then we will add complete and incomplete so 9 plus 5 is 14 so area of this triangle is 14 square unit and we can further verify it by our conventional formula that is half into base into height half into base into height so we can see over here half will be taken as half and the base is one two three four five six seven unit so base is seven and height is height is one two three four unit so this will be taken as four so two and four get cancelled and we will take two seven to the 14 so this is 14 square unit so it can be verified by our conventional formula as well as by visualizing the shape any other activity please yes sir any other activity you can work? yes sir in this way we can more than and half the triangles yes sir yes sir more than and half less than and half sir sir sorry sir less than half jo hota usko chhodte hai na no 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 that will be counted as sir incomplete incomplete mean uh, which is not complete incomplete mein wo bhi hai sir more than half and less than half half no no, no. more than half will... full count karte hain no sir no sir half we will ko half count karte hain less than ko chhod dete hain we will count sir like this sir, na, sir. we will count half half agar hai to theek hai sir less than half hai to usko neglect karte hain more sir, than half is them. considered as one okay so in this way we can find out the area of any polygon i move to the next activity please this is all uh, i have prepared all the activities on behalf of my group okay okay you, you are you are used to your board all are all are using your board only yes sir yes sir okay any other activity from zed boneshwar done sir okay then uh, shika madam please uh, thank you, sir, for presenting it. Uh, again, uh, the same appeal, sir, that uh, it would be good to use these shapes in different orientations rather than always presenting triangle as, uh, you know, tip of the triangle at the top and the base at the bottom. I think we have to change the orientation of all these figures. The other is, sir, I have pasted a link in the chat for the PIX theorem. I think for the middle school students, you might want to also consider doing PIX theorem using GeoPort. So please do watch that. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, Shikha madam, I think we can wind up. Sure, sir. Okay, participants, uh, we are winding up, but uh, as usual, stay back for the attendance. All right. Thank you okay. so much, uh, Srinivas. Thank you so sir. much on behalf of uh, all the participants. Director, sir, and uh, on my behalf, madam, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, all of you. Are very thank busy. you. I know that. Uh, thank, you. thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. Thank you, thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, madam. Thank madam, you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, all of you. Thank you. Hello. Okay, uh, my dear friends, uh, as usual, tomorrow, the session starts at 10. Please join at uh, 9.45. I am sending the link for attendance now. Please uh, do the attendance. It will be available for up to 550. It will be available only up to 550. Please do it. If you have any problem, uh, please call me. If you have any problem in doing the attendance, please call me. It's awesome, sir. And, uh, those who have not, those who have not done that verification of certificates, please do it. Hello. Yes, sir. Please, RK Jain, sir. Yes, sir. I am asking you that you are doing this workshop. Is the material you will send us in the mail? Yes, sir. Whatever the material they are giving us, we will be sending it to you. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, s
And not not only that, all the sessions are being recorded. You will get the recording also. Yes, sir. Yes.